All right, welcome. Mike Simmons here. Now, having a child theme, in my opinion, is almost mandatory if you plan on making any changes at all to your WordPress theme because if you do make changes to customizations to your WordPress theme and then your theme updates, which, by the way, this site right here is using the 2013 theme, and that I just updated it before I started this video. So if you do have any changes on there, you're going to lose them probably if you update your theme. So let's make a child theme and not have to worry about that at all. It's a very simple process, and I am going to show you how. All right, so why a child theme? Let's go to our WordPress dashboard and hover over Appearance and then click on Editor. Now this is what's called our style.css file. By default, it will open to the theme that you're using right here, the main theme that you're using. We're using the 2013. And this controls pretty much the look and layout of your entire site. All your font sizes, colors, that sort of thing. Like for instance, right here, this controls the H1 title tags, which are probably on all your page titles of the 2013 theme. So what if we wanted to make this, say, 88 instead of 48. Let's we'll make the change and update. Go back to our theme here and I'll reload the tab and you'll notice now it's quite a bit bigger. Well that's that's all fine and good but we don't want to make these changes to our main theme because we don't want to have to start from scratch when the 2013 theme updates again and then uh, we have to start all over. So let's make a child theme. The first thing we'll need to do is log into your cPanel account now you should know how to do that. The, if you have HostGator hosting, there should be a link right in the email they sent you when you signed up for your hosting. Or uh, you can type in your domain name forward slash cPanel and then log in with your cPanel username and password. Once you're on your cPanel, scroll down until you find File Manager and click on that. And yes, we want to open up the web root, the public HTML folder. We'll click on that. Now, if you just have one domain in your uh, account, then you'll just double-click on the WP Content folder. This is the subdomain right here of this site that we're using, 2013.mydomainName, so that's what's called a subdomain. So I'm going to click on that. You might just have to click on WP Content, whatever uh, site you're going to work on. So I'm going to double-click on that. Now I'm going to double-click on WP Content, and then I'll find the Themes folder and double click on that and these right here are the two themes that are installed on our site right now the 2013 which is the theme we're using and the 2012 what we want to do is make a new folder so we'll click on that right there now I recommend you just call it whatever your theme name is type that in and then put a slash and then child well, I'm going to make that all lowercase and there we go 2013 child folder we're going to double click on that and of course it's empty we need to have a style.css file in our child theme but we don't want to have this one in there so we'll have to make a new one so what you'll need first of all is to have a text editor i, I use notepad plus plus it's a free open source uh, text editor works really well it doesn't come with this yellow background i put that in there myself so you can have any color you want there white if you want of course and what code do we want to put in there well a very simple way to do it is to just click on the link that i'm going to put in the description of the video and it'll take you to this page on my site where i've put in the code you need what we're going to do is just highlight all the way down past this dotted line and make sure you get this little forward slash at the end here and then we'll just right click and copy and then I'm going to open up the text editor again and I'm going to paste it in there you don't need anything in here besides your theme name and your correct template which has to be the name of your parent theme that you're using now, I've already saved this once I'm going to save it again you'll have to save it as style.css it has to be called exactly that I'm just going to save it again. Now we're going to go back to our cPanel and our, we have our child theme or folder open. And what we want to do is upload the style.css file. So we'll click on upload and then we'll click on browse and find the style.css file wherever you saved it to. Double click to upload it to our child theme folder. And that's done. Okay, so now we have a style.css file in our child theme folder or directory but we're not done yet now we have to go back to our 
WordPress dashboard of the theme we're using and click on themes and now we have to activate our child theme so down here we'll find our child theme and we'll just click on activate now let's go back to our site and reload the tab and nothing changed that's because we haven't put anything into our child theme full style.css yet let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and click on editor and now you see we'll have our child theme style sheet opened up now it says theme customization start here any changes you want to put in you have to put in below this line right here all right so how do we find the changes we want to make to our site well I'm not going to get into it in this video but look on my channel for a video about how to use Firebug which will easily show you how to make changes to your CSS code and what you can put into your new child theme now over on my site there's a little bit of code right here that uh, I put in as a bonus now this th these lines right here where it has the forward slash the star and the writing and the star and the forward slash that's just uh, the tells you what the code below it is about you have to put those the forward slash and the star on the beginning and the end exactly like that or else it'll mess it all up but what I'm going to do is just copy all this code right here and copy it and then go back and paste it into our child team to demonstrate here okay I'm gonna click update file and then let's go back to our site now the changes I did make, now right here it said the code con below controls the color and size of the post titles and the code, this code controls the color of the post titles when the cursor is hovered over it. So let's go back here and reload the tab. Now you notice that this is a lot bigger now and the color has been changed too. So that's just a little demonstration of what you can do with your child theme. I highly recommend you do so. It's a very simple process. Now if you want to know more about child themes you can go to WordPress codex.wordpress.org slash child underscore themes. I'll put that link in the video description too and that'll tell you pretty much anything you need to know or don't even want to know about child themes and more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you found it helpful and a favorite too and subscribe because I'm always adding more videos and as always keep on keeping on.